Um, uh, the, the, your, your upside down triangle and, and where you guys made reference to uh, the processes on how um, um, you, you filter out the applicants. Thank you for putting that up. On the, on the, um, on the oral boards, um, on the oral boards where, you know, you've had a, um, you have a significant drop in, in people who are, uh, don't qualify. Um, I've, I've actually had uh, one, one applicant from my district that complained to me that he thinks that he got weeded out because he had a, a small lisp, that he, he couldn't pronounce the letter T and S or something. And he, felt, he felt it was a, it was a disability, kind of a disability on his part, but he felt that he could be a great police officer. And, and um, is that something that you weed out? Or is that some, some you know, I, I, I mean, this is hearsay, but this is a guy that did come to me during my office hours and said, you know, is this something that they weed us out for? Council member uh, Dave Knopf. Uh, absolutely not. Uh, that's not something that that's tested upon during the, the oral board and uh, the oral boards are three member panels and uh, they come to a consensus based on their scores and, that, and based on the questions that are asked. Um, or so. is it any is it any part of this like where it would would it be would you weed a person out for for a lisp in any part of of your multi tier um, uh, approvals uh, process? No, not not a lisp unless it became a, a dynamic issue. I mean, we've had officers with Tourette's, a form of Tourette's, a mild form of Tourette's. So. Uh, I would have to answer no to that. Really? Okay. Now, uh, what about accents? Because I think, you know, we absolutely need uh, people who, who speak Spanish and people who speak Vietnamese. Um, I think that we absolutely need, so if, if they have a Vietnamese accent perhaps or any accents come into play? No, sir. We have officers that are bilingual and have accents on the department. All right. Well, that, that's wonderful. I, I just, I just want to... You know, it seems like we're weeding out quite a few people, and I just, I'm wondering if, if some of our processes are too stringent, um, and I, I, I don't know, uh, like for example, the hiring board, you weeded out 57% of the applicants due to this one hiring board, where that's after you do a background investigation, um, and they passed all these other levels, it seems like you're weeding out quite a few based on, you, you know, um, well, it, it seems like a, a lot of a lot of have been weeded out during that process. Um, so, I mean, is, is, are they being a little too careful? Is what I'm trying to ask. Are they are they trying to weed out the app? You know, trying to take no chance whatsoever. <laughs> well, I, I can tell you that I personally sit on these boards, and uh, we're we're just not getting the quality of applicants that we have in the past. Um, and a lot has to do with uh, the competition that's out there. 